Okay, people of YouTube, right here we are looking down at the city of Pittsburgh, second biggest city in Pennsylvania. It's on a very cloudy day, it looks like it's about to rain any second. And right here is the entire city skyline. It's a nice big, there we got the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, one of the biggest or second biggest medical centers, universities in Pennsylvania after Pennsylvania University. Located, which is located in Philadelphia, but Penn State isn't too big. Isn't too big, but you got especially there. You got a bunch of bunch of other ones. So. Oh yeah, it's a trolley car. It's a bike thing we just came down. It's called the incline. I mean, we just came up on. So if you ever want to come up here, I should maybe bring some binoculars like Tom Sr. did. I'm not a senior, I'm not a junior or anything. I'm Kevin, the only one, the original, the only one to ever be. Kevin Grab. I'm not on this. Let's see if we can see the people down by the geyser. Zoom into the geyser. As far as it goes, you know, see if I can see Charlie from here. Charlie told me I was going to be kayaking on the river today. And there's this lady behind us. Oh, that's my mom. Good. Mrs. Rainey. Mrs. Grab. Sure. You find anything you want? That way, where's oh, all right? There it is. Right here is the Philadelphia PNC or uh, Pittsburgh PNC baseball stadium. What are they? The Oils, Pittsburgh Oils. I want to say that's right. Ask Siri. Ask Siri. What's uh, what baseball team is in Pittsburgh? Or, uh, say, say Siri. Pittsburgh Oils or. Well, what's a baseball team? Right here is a, yeah, that was a whole, whole way zoomed in. Second, and the other here is a football stadium. Right here. Yes. Yeah, Gotta zoom in, it's a lot of nice, really cool skyscrapers here. It looks like a bank up there. Uh, I think that's the baseball team. Pittsburgh Pirates. If you know what the baseball team and football team in Pittsburgh is called, comment, leave a comment in the comments section. Even if you don't, just leave a comment. Something about a fact about Pittsburgh anything in the comment section. Then go over here, it's a really cool town. Yeah, Duquesne Incline, right here, we just came up. Some of the steepest or second steepest roads in America slash the world are in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's a cool side cool restaurant right there. Very expensive, fancy restaurant. Right here, we're gonna read this about the Mount Washington. Duquesne Incline right here. Right here, this is why, Dad, you see this one? This is why it brings it up right here. These are, these are the, uh, Dad, Dad, you can talk to them on YouTube what these things are called. It's called a, it's a, a wrench right here. This is a wrench that spins it right here. And then right here is what it used to look like back in the 
good old days, right here, down Okay, I guess I'll, yeah, before you guess how long, how many, what's the length of this thing? Guess how long it is. Guess how long it says. Here. 800 feet here. I'm gonna read this to YouTube. Okay, the, the come here, if you come here to Pittsburgh, you, and you take the Duquesne, Duquesne University incline, uh, it's gonna be, you're gonna be on the incline for 800 feet. The elevation you'll be taking is 400 foot elevation at a grade of 30 degrees at a speed of an average of six miles per hour passenger capacity 18 people yeah i'm gonna read it it, it was opened opened up in may 20th 1877 in in 1888 1888 it was rebuilt with with an all steel structure 1900 new lower station built and in 1932 electrical equipment replaced steam engines and then again in 1962 unfortunately there was something happened and it closed for a little bit and then once again in 1963 it reopened by the society of, of the preservation of duquesne heights in Khan. Okay, uh, no, uh, okay, right here. Uh, this, somebody wants to get a picture, but uh, right here, saved by the neighborhood. Right here, you can read that. Pause this video if you want to read that. There's a cool comic. Okay, she, she ready, Mom? Right here. How does the facility work? Okay, right here. Okay. Yeah, I was reading. Can we go by Dad? Alrighty. Thank you. I can't. No, it's cool. Pittsburghian. Are you guys also Pittsburghians? Thank you very much. No, we're not. Where are you from? Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia? Yes. It's a lot harder than this. sister just came back from Atlanta. Uh, yeah, she came back. She was working for her. Right there, it doesn't look too good on the Pittsburgh map. Right there. That helps. This does help. Okay, as my parents are talking to people from Atlanta, Georgia, I'm going to be reading this right here. Okay, before the Duquesne Incline opened in 1877, workers in the factories, in the factories and mills in the flats along the south bank of the Montego, if you know how to pronounce this, this river here, pronounce the correct pronunciation in the comment section there. And I'll just say the M River had had to commute from Mount Washington via the Indian Steps. The incline was built to provide, I just want to get it, so make sure the maps follow me, just make sure the camera's following along by reading. The incline was built to provide a more comfortable alternative, alternative to, alternative to the, Tom, um, you want to come here? I got some, okay, so uh, I guess she's over there. There, so I'm gonna be just reading this myself. Okay. The, oh, okay. So, anyways, I have to wash my spot, but anyways, you guys get the picture. It's a pretty dang cool incline. So, just to highlight some stuff. Um, this project was was funded in part by Highway Administrations, the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation. I want to say also known as PennDOT. Yeah, PennDOT right there. Low, low level foundation. Port of Pittsburgh Commission and Via Pittsburgh. With further support from the City of Pittsburgh and Mount Washington Community Development Corporation. And okay, right here some other cool facts. How does the fun few how does the fun funicle work? 
that Ukrainian Khan is funded, it's funded called a type of self, t type of self-contained cable railroad, railway used for transportation up and down steep train. Two cars are attached via cable routing, via the cable to one routing drum. As you see here in this picture, one routing drum. As one car descends its height, counter counterbalances that that of the other car, which is simultaneously simultaneously. That's a big word, but I got it right there. Simultaneously ascending, thus min minimizing the amount of energy required to operate the incline. And here's some other cool fact. Yes, an old comic right here from 1962, November 21st, and 1963, July 1st. Now let's see. Let's go. These car these cartoons by the ce celebrated C. Y. Hungerford appeared in the Pittsburgh Post, gazed to the mark the closing and the reopening of the Duquesne Incline. Uh, that says the Duquesne Incline is on a down going down and then 963 it's going positive because that's why it shut down and stuff. Right here if you're wondering where we are. I'm gonna post some uh, I'm gonna put some add on some other interesting facts and stuff in the comments section of this video. So make sure you definitely give this video a thumbs up and only people that don't like cool stuff would give this video a thumb down, but that's okay if you want to give it a thumb down. I wouldn't know why, and I wouldn't understand why this is a cool video, so I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. But, anyways, I'm gonna see more of the Pittsburgh skyline. I'm gonna zoom in with my binocular mode. It's nice bridges. Right here, Pittsburgh is known as the City of Bridges. A little shaky. Let's see if I can do this with one hand, my good hand. So, zoom the whole way out, zoom the whole way in. See inside this restaurant here. Nice and fancy, it says. Window. Now ask my watch, like, what street one? What, Siri? Where are we? Siri, where are we? I guess this doesn't work right now. I must have put it on silent. Oh, I just saw a big strike of lightning right there. So I shouldn't touch any metal right now. the thunder right now Come up close here. If you forget your binocular is always right here. Right here is the Pittsburgh Steelers.
Stadium. Just remember the name of the football team. Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh Pirates. Want to see them? And if you like baseball, right here is Pittsburgh Pirates Baseball Stadium. And right here is going to be both of them. There's one baseball stadium on the right and both fields on the left. Okay, we're going to go walk through this town. I wonder, what, wonder what's all in this town. Yeah, we're gonna walk this way. There's okay. a statue here. Okay. We're gonna go just up the hill here to look at a cool statue. Yeah, I know I have a limited storage. Hills in the world, not just in America, in Pittsburgh. Yes. I'm good on that. Last time me and Dan were coming in back from uh, Pittsburgh, we, we saw like the steep hills on this mountain here that we're on, and uh, we were just wondering like where the steep hill in the world or steep hills in America. And we uh, watched like a bunch of videos on YouTube, and anyways, we found out this is the second steep hill in America is in Pittsburgh, the steepest one in America is in California, but the one in Pittsburgh is more has more of an incline, but the one in California is longer. So uh, it's sort of like they both have a tie a little bit. And then the steepest one in the world, like Pittsburgh is sort of like, could be like, it, that all depends on what you're just considering it by the steepest or steepest and longest and everything. But um, and then other countries that have like some pretty steep ones. I forget what countries they are, but. Anyways, and they also do things where they like, Walls down here, all this stuff. Speed weavers, uh, kebab trucks, the yelks, ski, ski weavers. I wonder what this used to be here. See us, Dad? Just once again, as I've uh, discussed with my one friend before. There's a third street here in Pittsburgh, which is not too far away from us on the other side of the river. And third street here in Pittsburgh, uh, sort of, I don't want to say sucks, but it's not as good as third street in Harrisburg. So if you like the number three, and you want to go to third street, go to third street in Harrisburg, not third street in Pittsburgh, because it's third street in Pittsburgh. Sorry, I like to talk. It's, it's good to have like stuff people talk on video. I wonder if we want to drive up here, how we like put a glass up here. Though. Where I set that other one. There's Dad.